stage I'm thinking, I was going to launch right into a, how grateful I am to, to be here thing, but maybe, I, I was thinking maybe I'd just do some playing first, and then do that a little bit later, because I actually want to have uh, Vinny and Joey come up here, and, 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 and Nick too. Uh, you can give a hand to Nick at the final, he's my... just try a couple of simple things and I really encourage people to ask questions because, um, you know, I, I could be on the stage with thousands of people in the audience, but doing a clinic really makes me nervous. I don't know why, but <laughs> don't ask me why because it's like... So basically what I've been doing is, a couple of things I've been doing, um, one of them is, um, uh, about uh, about 20 years ago I wrote a book with Rob Gavin called Funkifying the Clave, and it's based off of my experience with African music and sort of taking it into applying it to other styles and stuff like that. So I figured that I would talk a little bit about that and play a couple of things and maybe that will stimulate some questions. Also, I've been working uh, playing bass for Michelle Camilo in different capacities with his trio. I just got back from uh, uh, Vienna with his big band and I've been playing Anthony Jackson charts. Mm -hmm. Those are And they look like this. And they sound maybe a little bit better than they look. But I'm going to try to play this one. We didn't actually get to play this one, so I'm going to practice in front of you guys. <laughs> you know, and this is basically Anthony's, you know, who Anthony Jackson's part, who I consider to be one of the grandmasters of this, of, of this brand. You know, and you're probably not going to ever get him to do it. So I might as well do it for him. <laughs> right? And this is sort of a, probably a collaboration between uh, uh, Michelle Camilo and Anthony. It's basically Anthony's part. So I'll play this. And maybe I'll play a couple of Afro-Cuban things. Maybe I'll do that first, and then I'll go back and play this. And then I want to talk a little bit about uh, why I play for Daryl, and uh, why I play a Bufani, and a little bit of that kind of stuff, too. Maybe get all three of these guys up to talk, and Nick can come, come up and talk a little bit. And please ask questions, because otherwise I'm just going to sit there and go, look at the clock. It's already, oh, clinic's over. Look, it's, it's quarter to 10. I can go home. <laughs> It's been quarter to ten for the last month. <laughs> That's kind of like not really good. I thought, you know, things were going to run around here like it. Yeah, they are. They're getting batteries in the clock. That didn't work out well. <clears throat> so, one of the things I do is play with, uh, work with a, um, a rhythmic device called the clock. Does everybody know what that is? Do I have to go back and explain that? It's like a two bar figure that, um, that all the music relates to. So, it's, it's like, so five beats separated out into two bars. Like it can either be like two, three, or three, two. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, right? That's two, three, or three, two is two, three, four, two, three. So that's like a. Um, if I wanted to put it in academic terms, it's it's a it's a um, it, it's a motivic device that you can hang the groove on. Rather than go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, you're going to listen to this rhythm, right? So that's the African way to do things. So I'll do one. In, uh, uh, based on a blues, like a minor blues, and maybe I'll try to play like, like a, a, a footprints melody, and then I'll do it in seven, the same thing, and show you how you can take it and, um, and make it into uh, a, an odd meter thing using the, the clave instead of counting. Like the Europe, so, so, so the European ways to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, but the African ways should just go, right? I went to Cuba, yeah, no, think it. I went to Cuba and I said, and they were playing, all this incredible shit. All right, is that a word I can use here? Okay. That's pretty much everything. <laughs> you can use that. <laughs> and and I, I was trying to figure out where the downbeat was, and I asked the guy, I said, uh, so where's the downbeat? He went, he, he didn't have an answer for me. He didn't know, you know, where's one? It's not about one, it's about, uh, it's about the rhythm. So. so check it out. That's cool. So bear with me here. Minor blues, 
it's in four, it's bum, 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 right? Bum, bum. So if I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, what would I do? Two. Uh, so seven is one less than eight. Seven is one less than eight. So uh, instead of being a, a, a two, three clave, it has to be, I think, a two, two clave, right? So I go two, 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 I was, in, uh, I was in Greece, you know, and it was a Balkan rhythm. I would subdivide that in increments of, of twos and threes. So one, two, three, one, two, 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 three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. But we're gonna go. We're gonna take away the numbers and just leave the shape. So you can do that with any tempo. You can do it with four, you can do it with, I'm just doing it in seven just to be, just to be fancy, check it out. side is is stable and the, and the back side is the fill side so I, I'm answering myself right so if I go back to the to the um, to the two three Traditional African music, um, 
the, the two side is the, is the root and the three side is the dominant, right? So like if you were gonna play like a, like a traditional. So that's why it sounds like that. Yeah, and it's, it's like, oh, I don't know if it sucks, so I don't know if I the question. That's a good question. Well, can we ask another question? Yes, you can. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't know if we were at the point. <laughs> but uh, it's like uh, when, when you're playing that two bow with the, with the clock, it, it, three, two, two, three doesn't matter, right? Because you're always going to come on the second beat of the three if you're playing. Yes or no, because the three side is different than the two side. Okay. And that's what I was saying. So, so traditionally, if you want to go back to the tradition, which nobody really pays very much attention to, it's yeah. really more of a, of a language than it is rules. Although there are some people, I've had Timbalis six thrown at me because some people do play against rules. You know, when I first came to New York, I was learning how to play this stuff. Um, you know, there are certain things you can say. So if I'm going to go one, four, five, right? I'm talking about the intervals of the, of, of the tune. start out singing in 3-2 and then when they go to the improvisation they'll go 2-3 and you do that by um, yeah I guess this is, a, this is a good place to go with this um, you can uh, you can uh, um, add an odd number of, of beats to the bar yeah. or you can add an odd bar and it'll switch to the other side I guess I guess um, does that make sense? yeah it makes sense I guess um, like because you know it's not I don't but it's kind of music, I'm trying to understand the rhythm more. It's, it seemed like to me like, and I don't know if I'm if this is correct, but it seemed like if I got lost, I could always wait till I was in the three section, and the second beat of the three section, I could put a fifth because that was so. Mm, I don't know. Um, um, mm. Is that right? I, don't I really know. want to know. <laughs> I want to know that so bad because it feels right. It sounds right, but yeah. I can't. I don't really know if it's right. Well, actually, I have. Let's see if I have something that I okay. can play for you. Okay. That'll maybe partially answer that. Okay, I don't know. okay. sorry, sorry, cool.
Okay, so this is an exercise that I constructed just for that, to answer that question. How does, how does the, the, the downbeat go from, from the three side to the two side and back? So what, actually what this is, is an exercise I call Rosetta, because it's like the Rosetta Stone. You know, yeah. I just named it that. That's my <laughs> name. Right? So it starts on the three side, goes to the two side, mm -hmm. goes back to the three side, then it goes to the six eight over a common pulse. Okay. And I, like I say, I, I'm very bad at talking when I'm playing, but I'll try. Let's see what happens. switch from one side to the other by making it a one bar phrase. So like a first and a second ending, and the, the first ending is four bars, and the second ending is three bars, and it switches to the other side. Is that partially answering your question? It, yeah, partially, yeah, it does, absolutely. I'm not asking it the way I want, but yeah, absolutely, it does. All right. I know, it's, it, 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 it's, a, it's, a, it's a complicated question with a lot of answers. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. I, I'm, just, I'm not being clear, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, and, and if, even if you don't understand it, you don't, and even if you don't want to become the next Salsa King, <laughs> you know, it, this will help your time. This will help yeah. your time. It will help you. It, what it does for me is it helps me uh, um, fulfill my function as a bass player, which is the heartbeat of the ensemble, the babysitters of the band. Any drummers here? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know, so if something's pulling, you can pull it back by lengthening the notes, by widening the notes, by tripletizing the feel of the notes. You need to push something, you can shorten the notes. Right? 
that to me is the true nature of, of you know, I've never, I, I was never hired because I could play a solo like John Pastorius. I've tried. But I was hired because I can play bass a little bit at this point. Right. Um, so the other thing I wanted to do, before I, I go to the next section of the clinic, I wanted to play this, I don't know, I probably shouldn't be doing this, I'm gonna mess this up pretty bad. This is not yet, this is a chart by Michelle Camilo. Joey knows this chart. Um, and it's a very challenging piece to play. It's an Anthony, this is basically uh, written for Anthony Jackson. It covers four octaves on the bass. So I fortunately have four octaves on my bass because I have the, the right bass. Uh, it's in the key of C, pretty much. Looks like this. Silence. <laughs> right? But it's a pretty cool tune. Uh, what else can I say about it? It's a lot of sixteenth note runs. I um, we didn't get to play this because in, in Vienna because actually the band couldn't play it. It's a very demanding piece, but I'm gonna try to play it for you just because it's a really nice piece of music. Um, Michelle Camille, big band, this is called Not Yet. Maybe I'll just go through the whole thing once. Kevin, we don't have a music stand, right? <laughs> no, I won't. Do you want someone to hold it for you? Uh, no. Um, Sadly, no. Maybe I got like a third cage oh, here that I'm gonna need oh. to look at. I got it. But you don't have to do it for the whole thing, yeah. unless you want to. Oh. I know really, I know musicians who can read 